Hello everyone. I've counted the votes and the card that you wanted me to talk about most is Blood Mage Velnos. We have a vengeance. Let's begin, shall we? Blood Mage Velnos could be found within the Scarlet Monastery, the Honors Tomb to be precise, as an elite skeleton mini-boss. Horde players were asked to go into the Scarlet Monastery graveyard site by Dark Ranger Velonara to take care of Blood Mage Velnos and his companion Interrogator Vicious, who had extracted information from her mother during the initial outbreak of the plague. For the Alliance, we had Joseph the Awakened, a former member of the Scarlet Crusade and now leader of the Scarlet Renegades. When Joseph joined the Scarlet Crusade as a young paladin, he was eager to cleanse the world of evil, but little did he know how fanatic the Scarlet Crusade was. New recruits were tortured endlessly to make sure that they were pure and he can no longer sit by and be part of this corrupted organization. Someone has to make sure that others will never have to feel the same pain as he did, but as we turn the question, in, Joseph is surprised to hear that Faunos is an undead. He thinks it's impossible since the entire mission of the Scarlet Crusade is to destroy the undead, but Joseph didn't know that the organization had been corrupted from within by the Dreadlord Belnazar who had killed Seydan Dafrohan and taken his body. Seydan Dafrohan was the Lord Commander of the Knights of the Silver Hand at the time, but with Belnazar using his body as his disguise, he pushed the organization to be more and more fanatic. Some members could not stand by the path that the organization was on, so they stepped away and they formed their own organization called the Argent Dawn. Belnazar then took his members and he formed the Scarlet Crusade and he worked on bringing more death and misery to the world. Now Joseph, he might have believed that the torture he endured was great and perhaps he's right, but it was just a small part of what the organization had done. The Headless Horseman, for example, is a creation out of Belnazar's manipulation. The Corrupted Ashbringer and Darian Mograin, the Death Knight, are also because of this Dreadlord. And the members of the organization have been twisted and pushed so far that they can no longer see the difference between the living and the dead. As I said, Joseph was surprised to find out that Thanos is now an undead, which means that during the time that he was with the organization, he probably knew Thanos as a living being. Considering they call him a blood mage, it's very possible that Thanos was a blood elf before he was resurrected as an undead. Regardless, we went in to the Scarlet Monastery graveyard site and we did what Joseph asked of us. We not only killed Falnos, but we also took care of the rest of the members inside. At the end of the questline, after clearing out the entire Scarlet Monastery, Joseph loses his mind. He earns the name Joseph the Insane and he invites us to come visit him once he's taken the Undercity. It seems that Joseph's plans didn't go the way that he envisioned them though since with the Cataclysm revamp he's nowhere to be found and the Crusade is back in action. My endless agony shall be yours as well! Faunos also makes a return. He's now called Faunos the Sorender, and this is his dungeon journal description. Faunos earned repute in the Scarlet Crusade for the brutal torture methods he used to purify new recruits. Ultimately, the sadistic mage contracted a plague of undead and arose as a fearsome skeletal being. The vengeful Faunos now prowls the monastery's graveyard, commanding apparitions and zombified creatures on his unholy domain. What the dungeon journal doesn't mention though, but the Hearthstone description does, is that Faunos on top of all of that, he's also in charge of the annual Scarlet Monastery Blood Drive. I wonder if they willingly donate their blood or if he takes it by force. Either way, he has the power to resurrect the fallen Scarlet Crusade warriors as undead minions, but that didn't stop adventurers from striking him down and claiming the Blade of the Anointed rested behind him. The Hooded Crusader, Lillian Voss in disguise, she asked of us to put a stop to the Scarlet Crusade once and for all. The problem is, is that they keep coming back even after death. Now these two blades, the Blades of the Anointed, they have the power to put a stop to White Mane and the Crusade once and for all, so we collect them both and we plunge them deep into White Mane's corpse. That'll be the end at last. We can only hope that the Scarlet Crusade and all those fanatic to the organization will stay dead this time and that the cruelty placed by them upon the world will never be forgotten. May Blood Mage Falnos finally stay dead. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story behind Blood Mage Vanos. As always, I'll leave it up to you guys and girls to decide what card we're going to talk about next. So leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And who knows, your card might be used in the next video. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time, guys. See ya!